Hey everybody, I am Lisa Concepcion, Love Life Coach, here chilling on my beautiful terrace in South Beach, Miami, Florida. And I am hopeful that um, this message reaches you in the middle of a beautiful day. And I wanted to share with you some stuff that's been going on with me um, over the last week. Uh, some decisions that I made for my life that I wanted to share with you because I am uh, very transparent as far as like what goes on with me, the journey that I'm on, uh, where I've been before and you know how everything is just organizing itself for our betterment. Like the universe is powerful and strong and so we need to be powerful and strong and work in accordance with the universe by having faith. So Sandra, thank you so much for signing on. This is super cool. Um, so I wanted to record this Facebook Live because a lot of people have been hitting me up through the week and there's been movement and different things that people are like working on in their own lives. And it has to do with who we are becoming. So we all have things that we want. And as a love life coach, a lot of the people who come to me are wanting to maximize their relationship or if they're single, they want to find that partner, that ideal partner for them. So I have a, a client, and you know it was very inspiring. Every time I talk to my clients, I get you know these nuggets of ideas for even my own life, right? So I'm working with them, and they're telling me what's happening with them. And um, two of my clients right now are very, very like hell bent on manifesting love in the next. 60 days like one that's you know December 10th that's her date because she was traveling and she met with a guru and the guru had said okay you're gonna find the love of your life by December 10th like it's on and she took that and said okay December 10th is my jam so that's how she's existing in the universe and you know in her life and so she is working with me to step into the person that she wants to become is becoming so that then she could attract and be a vibrational match to the guy that she wants to invite into her life that she wants to align with and meet and romantic and the whole thing right so she's working with me on that and one of the things that we were talking about is um, mindset meaning the belief that what you want exists already that you are worthy of having it, and then getting into the mindset so that you align with it. And a lot of people, another client, same things, wants a guy, and she's super religious, super, you know, really religious, hardcore religious. And yet, what I find so amazing is that we could all say that we're super spiritual or religious or whatever, but when it comes to manifesting the things that we want, we have doubts. We doubt if it exists or we say we want something so badly and then the next breath we're like, eh, it's never going to happen, you know, or, and it could be anything. It could be anything. And we just have to really pay attention to our language and really speak the words that would come out of the mouth of the person that we are to become, the person that we need to step into to get the things that we so want for our lives. So understanding language is super super important and so one of the things that I bring to my coaching practice that sets me apart from other coaches that are out there is that I had a 23 year career in public relations and marketing and so words and language and how they're used to evoke a certain kind of response from people and to be influential etc is my jam and where that comes in handy as a coach is that I can help people through language to paint their reality, to create the reality. Now, as we're talking about creating a new reality and stepping into the person that we want to become, right? We all have visions of ourselves, greater, bigger, striving for more things. And, and, and by things, I mean, you know, experiences, material things, you know, more time with family and friends and loved ones, all the things that we want, right? All the things that wake us up in the morning. And I had to 
ask myself, you know, what kind of changes should I be making in my life, in my mindset, that will put me um, in alignment with my desire, which is to be of service to the world, to be known by millions and millions and millions of people in a place of service. So I have a very distinct, clear vision of who uh, my ideal clients are, how I am to serve them, and so in order to attract these people, the people that I'm to help, I don't worry about the how, that's up to the universe, that's God's work, right? God brings me my people when I am aligned with the receiving of them, and then I serve them with love and purpose. So in order for me to get my mind into a place where it's like, okay, people are out there. There are a lot of people out there looking for what it is that I offer. There are people struggling in their relationships, struggling um, independently, getting over a breakup. There are people who are single and they're tired and fed up of being single and dating assholes and they're over it. They don't know what they're doing wrong, right? So they keep attracting the same kind of people. They don't know why. So this is the stuff that I work with. This is the stuff that I help people with. But in order for me to continue to grow my business and to do it from a place of service and love, I have to love up on me and I have to behave in a way that is abundant if it is abundance that I want to attract in the form of clients, in the form of money, in the form of ideas, in the form of you know, people who are coming in and out with opportunities for me. So how do we do that, right? What did I do? How did I get into this place of, all right, listen, I'm living in a one bedroom apartment, which I love here in South Beach, Miami, Florida. I have, del I have dreams of going into, you know, a three bedroom condo palace in the sky, beautiful, beautiful, you know, like everybody out there, you guys have dreams of how you wanna live. Um, you know, flying my parents down to visit me whenever the fuck I want to see them. Like, boom, I got planes coming here. You're staying with me. I'm working. I'm traveling. I have this vision, right? But isn't it interesting that in order to get to over there, you must learn how to revel in where you are here. So what I did was I went on Groupon and I hired myself a house cleaning service. I used to have house cleaning service up in New Jersey when I lived in a home up there. And I loved it because um, every now and then you wanna have that good scrub, crazy hands and knees scrubbing the floor, you know, the grout, the tile, the nooks, the crannies, all that. And I'm a really, you know, tidy person, but when it comes to that like hands and knees scrub kind of thing, it's not my jam. And you know what, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that it is. However, I felt so nice to be able to take my money and employ someone else, and they had came and cleaned. They did that hard, heavy scrub. I was doing the other stuff, the, the dusting and whatever, and we were together, I put music on, and this lady was a delight, amazing. But what did that give me, right? Right now, my house looks like something out of I'm not even kidding you, it's as if it's a hotel suite. Everything is in its place, it is absolutely beautiful. The floors are sparkling, the molding clean, everything, everything spotless amazing. And how you feel with that deep clean, the bathrooms, you're looking at, it's as if a, a, a magic wand came and went bling, 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 oh my God. Woo, a breeze came and blew my little camera off, but it's as if, a magic wand came and like totally wiped sparkly diamonds nice over my beautiful uh, um, apartment that I have here. You know, I'm right now looking at the water. It's you know, gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's about to have sunset. So I wanted to bring that message to you. Another thing I did too was got my car detailed. So I want uh, a Porsche Panamera, I think. Right? This is kind of where I'm at. I want to move. I want to up level my life. This is this is like, you know, where I'm going into for the end of 2018 into 2019. I'm making some very serious decisions with how I'm living my life so that I can up level my life. Right? So these things take actions. You can't just say I want this and then you sit your ass and I'm chilling here with the, with the elephant and you know, 
my, my drink and I'm just like, yeah, okay, so I want this. And I'm just gonna like chill and do nothing and like whatever and wait for it to come from the infinite into my experience. No, when you have that desire, right? When you, when you make a decision like, I want to live this way, then step two is looking for all of the clues, right? The universe leaves clues. Who am I meeting? What, where am I being invited to go? All these things. I had the idea. I need to get my apartment deep, deep cleaned and I need to get my car detailed. Why? Because I want to revel in abundance, live as if I am abundant because I am. And abundant people do not live with um, messy shit everywhere and, and things in a disarray and, and you know dust balls under the bed. Like they just don't do that, right? So I said, well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go on Groupon. I'm gonna find car detailing, deep clean apartment, and my car, always immaculate. The guy who was cleaning my car was like, oh my God, what year is this car? This car is amazing. And I made the decision that although I am interested in getting a, a Porsche Panamera, I also, want to keep my car. My car is a, tw is a 2005 BMW and I want to keep him. I, I just have a thing with vintage cars and I want to invest money in him and restore him and keep him. Yes, he's a boy. My car is a boy and his name is Klaus and I just saw him getting detailed and I felt so good that I could do this for him. We've had such a journey together, me and this car and uh, I just figured, you know what, if I want to get over there, I have to love up on Klaus. I can't have him all like dirty with water stains and no waxing and whatever. So I took him for like the ultimate bath of his life. It was amazing. And so now I have my car impeccable. I have my home impeccable. I'm able to create. I feel, oh my, I feel completely different in my own apartment now. I, it's unbelievable. And I'm so committed now to just really making my living space a reflection of who I am now. I was listening to um, some wealth consciousness um, audios on YouTube. You can check out my YouTube channel. I have a bunch of really great audios saved to my channel that you can check out. It's just looking up Lisa Concepcion on YouTube. And you can help yourself to all the videos that I watch that I use for my own uh, knowledge and my own up leveling. And so I'm listening to one and the message was so clear. It was, you must live abundantly now. Always live abundantly. If it means that you're gonna just sit on your terrace with the nice plants overlooking your, chilling, chilling out, watching the sunset, like as if in my mind, honey, I'm gonna be doing this years from now from a terrace, probably four times the size of this one, maybe bigger. And I'm like, well, do it now. Do it now, it's the same sunset, it's the same view, you know, I mean, it might be different, I might move, whatever. But my point is, live abundantly where you are now. And look at that when you are dating, think about it, think about the people that you're attracting. Is this, am I coming at dating from a place of abundance or are you coming at it from a place of lack? Think and listen to what you're saying. If you walk around and you think, Oh my God, there isn't anybody good. All the women are psychopaths and crazy. It's just land of the crazy and these men, they don't commit, da da da. You're only living in lack and you're going to perpetuate more lack. But if you love up on yourself and you say, you know what, it's all good. I see people in love all the time. Like boom, there's a couple right there holding hands. Boom, there's a couple right there making out right there, look, kiss and grab an ass, it's awesome. Like I wanna see that shit around me because I want to have proof that what I see around me is proof of my own abundance, right? So if you're looking for a relationship, go out and spy, I spy love. I see love everywhere. If you are looking to up level financially, go around and look at beautiful things. There's abundance all over. And look at things that aren't even money related. We are full abundance. Turn your water fa faucet on. Abundance, water, flows, air, breathe it in, breathe it out, like all good. So I wanted to share this message with you because one of the things that I am offering with my coaching is a free love life assessment. And now a lot of people have been filling this thing out and I, what ends up happening is in a couple of days, I come back to you one-on-one -on -one for free through email and I respond to all of the answers that you provided me. 
and I give you a very in-depth love life per, uh, uh, assessment that you can keep, you know, just a, just a take of like some things to think about that are very customized and tailored to you and what you're going through. And I had somebody coming at me who said, I watch your videos on YouTube, Lisa, and I am struggling with self-love. I had been knocked down financially. It has nothing even to do with relationships. Um, he, this person was single and he just struggled with the self-love and I guess he saw a YouTube video of mine about self-love and how important it is to love up on yourself as much as you can, the more the better. And he wrote me his love life assessment for himself. And it was really nice. So anyway, I responded to him and one of the things that I even told him, I said, listen, the quickest thing that you could do, the most immediate thing that you can do, and you can even pay someone to do this for you, is to get your living space on point. Get your living space on point. And if you're in a situation where you're in between and you know you're so close to moving into a new place and you're just right there, it's like super, super close, or you're planning on um, enhancing you know, what it is you have in your life, in any regard of your life, be uh, mindful of where you are now and make it the best, like the best. I bought pillows for my couch. I bought um, this terrace furniture, like in the last, let's see, from, I would say my birthday, from March, from March to now, I made a very conscious effort to step into the person that I wish to become now. Not, oh, I can't be her yet because I'm not making that kind of money yet. I'm not a multimillionaire yet, so I can't live like that yet. Bullshit, bullshit, check me out. You think I'm gonna be doing anything different when I'm a multimillionaire? Notice the word I said when, not if, when. No, I'm gonna be chilling on my terrace with my lucky, prosperous elephant, checking out the sunset, loving life. I am not kidding you, so why not live like that now? I'm already abundant, I'm loved by the universe. The universe has our back always. Whatever we ask for, Bitch, it, so it can much. come. Hey, what's up, what's up, I love it, yeah! Come on out and have some drinks with me. Love it, love it, love it, see? This is what happens, you never let anybody's negativity and bullshit get you down. I just invited this guy out to have a cocktail with me. It's not my problem that he's not high vibe like I am. He could totally do whatever the fuck he wants. It doesn't matter because I'm loving life. I'm chilling with you people. Life is so good. So tips, number one, if you haven't given your car a good clean, handle that. I'm telling you, when you step into that car, I have an 05 BMW, dude. I, the car is old, but he's amazing. And I sit in that car now, it reminded me of the time when I first picked him up from the dealership. It was the same leather, it was sparkly, everything nice. And I'm like, yeah, this is the Lisa that I know I am. This is who I am. And when you live in that place and you revel in all that is abundant and good in your life, guess what? More cool things come. So that's the one thing that I'm offering is the Love Life Assessment for free. You can find it at lovequestcoaching.com. So you can head over there. And the other thing that's really cool that's happening this Thursday night in Miami is I have been asked to be a keynote speaker at the Epic Masters, Epic Life Masters networking function that happens once a month here in Miami on Brickle. And you can check that out by um, logging on to Epic RSVP, Epic RSVP. These are people who are in business. These are people who um, are independently employed. They have businesses here in Miami. They're just movers, shakers, a lot of real estate people, a lot of um, people doing cryptocurrency, marketers, sales executives, you name it, but very high, high level. People looking to go from here to up level more, and it's fantastic networking. Um, last time I went, ladies, I was one of maybe like 10 women in the entire place, and there were like, a hundred men there. This week will be more women because of the topic that I'm speaking on, which is sex, love, and business. So that's this Thursday. Again, check out Epic Life. Um, uh, no, it's Epic Life Masters is the name of the group. And the RSVP is epicrsvp.com. And you can get a ticket there. It's 20 bucks. Food, drink, amazing networking. 
I'll be there, we can hang, and you'll never know who you'll meet. So live abundantly, take your ass out, clean your house, hire somebody to do the deep scrubby scrub, get your bathrooms on point, get your shower on point, get your car on point, and live well right where you are. I wish you all abundance and joy, and hey, if you are in a situation where your love life is jacked out, off the rails, or you just wanna up level it, right? You're in love, you have a good thing going, and you just wanna take it to the next level, hit me up, Lisa at lovequestcoaching.com. You can check out lovequestcoaching.com, and there, check out the free assessment for your love life, from me to you. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.